beauty of it being a flight simulator. Right, I want you to familiarise yourself with the controls and take it from there, OK? Enjoy yourself. All right, boys, take it away. <laughs> Everything all right? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last week I lost someone very close to me. Aww. Someone I've grown up with. My very, very best friend in the whole world. He was an Alsatian, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, my Victor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know... I know I'm only torturing myself. You're torturing yourself? <laughs> well, I, know, I know you took it pretty bad as well, well didn't you? Because yeah, right. he thought the world of you, you know? Remember how you used to sit outside your dressing room going... <laughs> Well, you know, we had mutual respect, didn't we? Yeah. Still, I think we better crack on. Do you mind if I show you something? Uh, show me something. Uh, what is it? Yes. I'm wearing your collar. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've even got his leave. Uh, well, shall I take you for a walk later uh, on? I'll do that later on. And look, I've got his favourite oh, phone. Yeah. He had that for years, you know. Yeah. If, if, if you put your nose against it, you can... <laughs> You guys smell the saliva, it's fantastic. Well, no, I really think we should push on. You're quite right, you're yeah, quite right. Yeah. In fact, Griff, if you don't mind, um, I'd like to dedicate tonight's show to the memory of Victor. <laughs> so, Victor, wherever you are up there, this one's for you. We love you, and we're thinking of you. Because you're a good boy, aren't you? Yes, you're a good boy. <laughs> Are you feeling better now? Much better, thank Good. you. Yes. Okay. Is it actually, while we're on the subject, if anyone um, at home would like to make a donation, I've set up uh, a memorial uh, fund to pay tribute to a dog who was very special, mm -hmm. unique, mm -hmm. and irreplaceable. Yeah, right. And what can you do with the money? I'll buy another one, oh. I think. <laughs> no, I blame myself. Well, I know you shouldn't blame yourself, I don't think. Uh, I mean, you follow that stick anywhere. Yes, yes. He followed it over that cliff, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> But he caught it halfway yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Terrible. I had a rotten night's sleep. Just looking, thank you. Hmm. Oh, for God's sake, come on. <laughs> well, are you absolutely sure I'm not allowed Polish words? <laughs> no. All right. Well, look, how, how about Roman numerals, eh? No! No, all right. You know, it's really quite fascinating what you can see out here, you know, at night. 
All the little windows are all lit up like little stage sets. The family having a meal up there. Woman putting her dog to bed in a nightie. <laughs> what, the dog's in a nightie? No! The woman's in a nightie. Oh, well, now the dog's in a nightie, actually. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do it, taking advantage of people behind their back. It's, it's dishonest. <laughs> now, is that woman naked? Or is she peeling potatoes? Uh, just come away from the window, will you? No. Leave, leave it alone. No. It, oxen. I thought I said no Polish words. Well, that isn't a Polish word, oxen. What? Well, that's the plural of ox. The plural of ox is oxo, you bloody idiot. <laughs> you show me oxen in the dictionary. Yeah, all right, I will. I'll show you oxen in the dictionary. This is like playing Scrabble with Vinnie Jones. <laughs> Third floor up on the right. Oh, yeah. Is he painting his testicles? <laughs> yeah. That's an odd choice for a mural, don't you think? That's what I thought. Now, for Gus, what am I doing? Yeah, stupid. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's obscene. What is it? No, 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 I can make it. <laughs> Hold your own. Yeah, ob C. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Fantastic game, isn't it, Scrabble? Scrabble, hugely entertaining, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's, it's just such a superbly engrossing game. Do you want to go first? Yes, please. Thanks. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty and governors of the University of South East Bromley, I welcome our distinguished company who join us here today to receive their honorary doctorates. <laughs> to Geoffrey Archer for services to self-promotion. <laughs> Salute Geoffreyus. Truthus distorticus maximus. <laughs> Et Londinium meo not on your nellius. Step forward, Bassey, Shirley, honorary doctor of song, for services to personal relations and for belting it out. <laughs> Salute, Shirley, big spendicus cum gustibus et welly, et slightly out of tunus. Step forward, Paxman, Jeremy, for services in the field of conflict. Salute, Jeremiah. Come on, come on, come on, I haven't got all nighters. Try it. Don't try it. It's a bit bright in here, isn't it? Oh, darling. What? Not with your fingers. It doesn't hurt. Watch. Oh, jeez. Um. Oh, dear. Uh. Uh. See. There we are. Didn't hurt a bit. I'm not sure this is right. If you look at the bloody diagram. No, I don't mean the diagram, do I? I mean this. This peeping. All this peeping and the prying peeping. and the peeping and the prying and the peeping all through the window and all that. I don't think it's right. Well, we're, we're part of the neighbourhood watch scheme. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're not part of the neighbourhood I like to watch scheme, are we? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Come on. Stupid. It's just a... It's only a little bit of harmless fun, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> These are the babies we want. 
Boy, boy. Mm. They good? Oh, yeah, they're pretty good. I can see the girl on the third floor, right? Yeah? She's, yeah. I can see she's washing her smalls. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Mm, I, ooh, we shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> doing what? Wait. It says dry clean only in the label of a microphone. <laughs> for buying Incredibly Spreadably, the butter you'll believe is margarine. Every time you buy a tub of Incredibly Spreadably, ten pence will go to the Victor the Dog Memorial Fund. Look out for the special corporate labels. And remember, Victor's dead, so buy some spread. And collect 50 lucky Victor labels and you can send off for this handsome Victor the Dog commemorative statuette. Lovingly hand-tooled by world-famous dog modeler Edna Baxter. Offer available while stocks last. The value of this product may go down. What's the time now? Uh, um. <laughs> it's uh, 7.25, I think. Uh. Oh, that's the uh, boys. I think we should stop. They come to watch this football game. Yeah. I'll go and let them in, shall I? Well, there's nothing going on here, is there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come in, Colin. All right, lads. Right. 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 Got to be a good man. Chris, here we go. Has it started yet? Nope, just about to. All set? Yep. Yep. Take a seat. <laughs> What did you do about the uh, the drink driving charge? Oh, that. No, well, I'm, I'm pleading guilty. Because I was unlucky, wasn't I, really? What was it, 50 yards from the pub to the house? 50 yards? No, no. <laughs> probably because you cut across the allotment. Yeah, probably. that's probably what did it, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What made you do it? What on earth made you do it? Well, you told me to do it. You said cut across the allotment. Well, I said, said, well, it don't make it's no big deal. No, it isn't, no. What do you think? 50 quid fine, something like that? Well, it depends on the number of points on your licence, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Licence. <laughs> oh, no, you don't mean... Well, no, well, you see, I never bothered, really. I didn't see the point. What with me being a minicab driver and everything, no. I couldn't see, you know. Well, listen, if you haven't, oh, if you haven't got a licence, then you can kiss goodbye at the next three months of your life. What, is there a big queue down the post office? No. <laughs> You're going to get sent down, mate. You're going to get sent down. You're going to prison. Prison? Oh, yeah. No. They won't send me away for that, will they? Wait, no, it's, it's the new police crackdown, isn't it, you see? Three strikes and you're out. No, I only hit that copper twice, honest to God. <laughs> no, they can't send me to prison. I'm not going to go. I'm going to run away. Gonna go. I'm going to run away. I'm going to hide. I won't go. You're going to run away, you're gonna make some pathetic escape bid, only to be picked up by the police shivering in some urine-soaked doorway. Well, that's what you did. Well, no, I don't want to talk about that. It was different, it was different. I, I, I do not want to talk about my days in prison. That was, that was five, five years in prison. Yeah. Five bloody long, wasted years, that was. Yeah. And what were you in for again? Home taping. <laughs> Well, you must, you must have had a very bad lawyer. Yeah, oh, yeah. Same one you've got. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, tell me, was, was prison not very nice, then? Not very nice. It was terrible. Was it? Bloke I shared a cell with, right? Yeah. He seemed, you know, nice enough, ordinary sort of bloke. Yeah. Turned out he'd killed 12 students. Oh, he was a psychopath. No, 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 he had that kebab van outside the university. Oh, yeah, right. But the worst thing, the worst thing of all, yeah, yeah. the worst thing of all is the, uh, yeah. is the showers. Oh, right. What? They're not very hot. No, no, I'm no. talking about the personal violations. Oh, I use wash and go. <laughs> Look, you'll be all right 
Yeah. Okay, as yeah. long as you learn the three basic rules of survival. Right, okay. Yeah, what are they? I don't know, I never found oh, out. Oh, right, right. <laughs> but let me give you one piece of advice, mate. Yeah, all right. Uh, and this, this, might, this might set you yeah, straight. Okay, yeah. You should try and attach yourself to what they call a bull. Attach myself? Atta How do you mean? Yeah. Well, you get close to this bull, yeah. see? Yeah. Because he's the hardest bloke on the wing. Oh. See what I mean? Yeah. Now, obviously, you have to let him shag you whenever he feels like. I see. Yeah. <laughs> but if any of other hard nuts, you know, gang rape you, anything like that, he'll tell them off. Oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's very reassuring, obviously. Thank you very much. Don't yeah. let them grind you I down, my son. I won't be able to cope. I always, I always feel so guilty. What do you mean, feel guilty? What have you got to feel guilty about? <laughs> I gave him your name. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Yeah. She, she's going to the bathroom. Yeah. Is she going to take her dress off? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is it. This could be the red letter day. Yeah. This is what all the watching and the waiting has been about. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, definitely. Did you see it? Yeah, that was definitely a glimpse of Nicker. Yeah, it, it, was, it, it was fleeting, but yeah. it was definitely a yeah. glimpse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Mm -hmm. Are you coming to bed or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it? yeah. <laughs> so. Down as almost complete panty glimpse, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Following the excitement of Dos Passos, Nos Tosos, and the tango of Argentina, the fire and fervor of Flamenco de Frontera Tabasco, and the Celtic magic of Brendan O'Lad, master of Irish dance, comes the new ethnic dance sensation. Vince Grundy and Darren Shute are Conga Britannia. <laughs> All the elegance of a long fat snake and the passion of a leg in and a leg out. Featuring Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber's especially commissioned Hokey Cokey Sweet in C minor. <laughs> Shake it all about with Conga Britannia. It's the ultimate dance sensation. Approved by the Victor the Dog Memorial Fund, the part of the will go to health charity supported by a dead Alsatian. Yeah, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, this evening there's going to be an RSPCA inquiry into the death of Victor, <laughs> my dog. Um, it'll be at Heathrow at 5.30. Oh, God, I'm going oh, out no, there I'm and so I sorry. welcome any... No, I'm really... Sorry, so I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about this. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just sorry. forgot I forgot to tell you, your mother rang. Yes. Yeah, and she wants to meet you at the piping oven at 6 o'clock. Does that mean anything? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> anyway, so come 5.30, I'll be down at Heathrow, and anybody who uh, wants no, to come... No, no, sorry. Sorry, what, what? No, I, well, I don't think you'll be able to do that. What? Well, unless you cancel your mother. Cancel my mother? Yeah, well, that, that was the message. <laughs> you got to meet at the piping oven at 6 o'clock. It was a message. Oh, see, that was the message. Yeah. Yes, I see. Right, yes. <laughs> right, sorry. From who? From your mother. From your mother? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, sorry, what did you say? <laughs> well, look... Uh, Sorry, I'm sorry about that. I, I, look, I, this is the message. I don't know what it's it is. It's all right, all right. It's all right. Okay, your mother wants to meet you. Well, get on with it, for Christ's sake. your mother wants to meet you at I've 6 o'clock. I've got to be at Heathrow at 5.30. No, you've got to be at the piping oven at 6 o'clock. <laughs> all right, I'm going to be at the piping oven at 6 o'clock. Yes? All right. Message understood. We'll go over and out. Good. <laughs> what was it again? Go. <laughs> Listen. You've got to be at the piping oven at six o'clock. That was the message. Will you write it down? All right. I'll write it down. <laughs> Jane, you got... Um... 
You've got to check back. Righty-ho. We're far away. <laughs> far away? I believe that there was a message of some sort. <laughs> You've got to meet your mother at the piping oven at six o'clock. There, that wasn't so difficult, no. was it? <laughs> I'm not going to bother to write that down. Will you write it down? Well, I can remember that, for Christ's sake. Write it down. All right, I'll write it down. All right. Look, ooh, look, look, look. Got the pen, got the paper. I'm going to write it down. Here it is. <laughs> what exactly was it? Oh, 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 give it to me. Give it to me. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Piping oven, six o'clock, mother. Ooh, all right? Lovey fuss. All right, all right. Okay. You've made me completely forget what I was going to say now. <laughs> and look, I'm never going to get to Heathrow by 5.30 now, no, am fine, I? No, fine. Jane, good. did my mother call? <laughs> what you want? Your gravel's arrived. <laughs> Mr. Jones, good news. We managed to save your testicles. Oh, thank God for that. And there they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want me to take over now? Uh, I'll go, go kip on the sofa, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, hang on. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what? Well, this is something new. What? Shh. Ponzi curtains on the second floor. Yeah, what? He's doing something, he's doing something really weird. What? He's, he's bringing something into the living room. What? It's a tree. A tree? Yeah, he's pulling, he's pulling a whole tree. In, <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Look what I got for you. <laughs> Half a dozen fresh oh. laid eggs and a pint of goat's oh, milk, eh? Then I'll go back and look at my lambs now. Oh, oh no. Well, how much do we owe you? <laughs> well, say 50p, shall we? <laughs> no, don't bother now. No, uh, you, you pay me in the morning so he knows where he stands, ah, then, see? we are leaving in the morning. We'll be up. <laughs> we'll be up very early. Pay me next week, then. No, Bob, Bob. We're going back to London. Well, pay me next time you're dead. Uh, we might not be here again. Well, what about some friends or family? Well, I've got no idea. My cousin Dwayne will be up in London at the Farmers' Conference next summer. You find yourself up that way, you can pay him then, can't you, eh? <laughs> Problem solved, see? <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as we don't forget, eh? Forget, yeah. <laughs> you try and double-cross me. I'll track you down, I'll string you up like a couple of stuck pigs and I'll slit your throats. <laughs> we'll pay you in the morning, then. Well, there you go. So they've had three weeks to do up the lounge and give it a totally brand new look. Let's see how they got on. Janet, Robert, would you like to do the honours? Right. This will sort us out. What is that? What is he doing there? Night vision binoculars. Oh. See in the dark with those. Give me a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, this is fantastic. It's clear as day. I haven't switched the lights off yet. <laughs> well, switch them off then. Oh, uh, hey. Well, it's all gone green. <laughs> yeah. Right. And that chair. Thanks very much. At last. We'll be able to see what that nutter does. Yeah. When he yeah. switches off the light. Yeah, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, my God. Uh, what? What? He's got a sort of case. What sort of case? Well, he's, well, he's taking something out of it. What? Well, it's a pair of night vision binoculars. <laughs> and he's... 
He's looking right at us. the way to Rotherhide Terrace. Watching every move I make, every step I take, every breath you shut up. <laughs> Day and night, you never take your bloody eyes off of me. Yeah, sorry, we're very sorry, really sorry. So where did I put me remote control? <laughs> I've lost me remote control. Where did I put it? Well, I'm sorry, but how the bloody hell are we supposed to know where you? It's on top of the wardrobe. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah you, you, you put it up there when you were trying on that women's dress. Uh, <laughs> one with the polka dots. Yeah, not that it's any of our business what you do at all. It's so you should do it entirely. I'll be watching you. Yes. Right, OK. Oh, my God. Bye. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you at last. Bye. <laughs> That's it. That's oh, it. Oh, no. oh, you oh, 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 I hate it. I hate it. Oh, I just hate it. Oh, I've had enough. Oh, just stand oh, 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 bowl sits on the lino your blanket hangs over the bed your collar is cold and all covered with mold oh victor my darling you're dead are there lampposts in heaven i hope so are there good meaty chunks in the jelly is there plenty of fun for our pedigree chum i hope the hereafter is smelly. <laughs> you're a good boy, you're a good boy, you're a very good boy, a good boy, oh yes, yes, you are. Oh yes, 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 oh yes, 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 oh yes, 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 big Tom. Yes, 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 big Tom. God's gonna be your daddy from now on, Victor. 